You ready? Nope. Here we go. Okay, people. Welcome back to another edition of Two Guys Sitting in a Hotel. Live from New York. York. <laughs> it's Black Hoodie Guys. We're actually here for a heist. New York Toy Fair is our cover. We're going to go steal the toys. Let's go. He's going to steal the toys. And I'm going to play with the new toys. No, we thought we'd do this video tonight because we were traveling all day. We were nearly snowed into Kansas City. We got out. We're yeah, here. We got I out. Mean, we got here. And there was a re- we got to well, fly direct. Toy Fair didn't happen today, but there's been a lot of leaks. It seems like there, it's there, happened already. Yeah, we get off the plane and it's just like, oh. oh. But, you know, maybe we're kind of to blame for that, for kicking it off this morning. First thing. Kicking what off? Oh, the new stuff. yeah, yeah, first off, right off the bat, Aha. <laughs> yeah, NECA let so us nice. reveal, or officially reveal, it had yes. been rumored, he'd right. been hitting at it, Yes. but the uh, cartoon turtle two-packs that are coming to Target. Correct, which are reissues of the original 2017 uh, big eight-pack, but... But That's exclusive to the show. You know, and a lot, a lot of people get didn't get it. So, yeah. I mean, this is a good thing. Yeah. It's um, not diminishing the value of your uh, turtle pack. I've still got mine in the case. It's a good start to what it represents because if it's successful... It, more to come. Yeah. Been Brandy's hinted. already on Twitter hinting with a rhino and a warthog. So, Are there rhino and warthog characters in the Ninja Turtles? I don't Turtles? know. Let me think. Do don't they wear think. hockey masks? That's all <laughs> I <know. laughs> <laughs> but you know even though these are rehashes i have all of these i even have multiple foot soldiers at this point um i think i'm in for all of them and maybe multiples of raf and mike set with the foot soldiers if i can find surely them. there's something Good to luck. be done with raf and mike i mean extras yeah even though donatello is the best turtle on that we agree yeah okay cool okay. Well, i yeah, thought we were yeah. gonna fight about it no well, i won't fight you but those will be 52 dollars coming very very soon yeah i, I mean like february march was the time frame that we were yeah given so it's february cool so it should be any time why, why are they did you just yet? look at your I wrist <laughs> with no watch I'm not, I'm, I'm, i don't have to look watch. over to know you don't have a watch on <laughs> storm collectibles was kind of busy today they hinting at stuff <laughs> now the gears of war i have no clue I, I i i saw the pictures they look awesome they look very storm collectibles but i don't know my gears of war from my neither Fortnite. do i but i like good <laughs> figures so i'm yeah. interested but at the same time if they're going to release all the stuff they're hinting at dark stalkers dark stalkers i mean this is like going tossing it back to the soda days mm-hmm. that never happened yeah dark yeah. stalkers i mean and, and dark stalkers you don't have to actually be into the game because it's cool designs. You want a vampire. You want a werewolf. You want a, 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 a demon woman with. I was going to say. I mean, her, I there are a lot. Exactly there are plenty of people out there that don't know the game that I'm sure want yeah. a Morgan. Figure, yeah, Morgan, so. and I think there were a few other characters, mm-hmm. but those are the ones that stick out in my mind. Yeah. So, so cool line. Again, being Storm Collectibles, they're going to be kick-ass action figures. Um, I'm interested. But they didn't stop there. I mean, they're throwing it all over the place. Hell no. I, what, we were <laughs> eating like 30 minutes ago when yeah. you pop off with a... Golden Axe. Golden Axe. Golden Axe. Golden Axe. What was that, Sega? Yes. Sega. Yeah, Sega and the Axe Battler. I, I, he, he didn't really have a, a name. Yeah, in there, yeah. But, you know. when, when you first flipped the phone around, I was like, who got Thundor? So, I mean... <laughs> Put a little... I, yeah. I changed the hair a little bit, add mm-hmm. some fur, maybe. But I'm also... Golden Axe, it's been a long I like, time. I like seeing him kicking it back to that a, era, though. Plus, on top of being a bare metal... A bare metal. <laughs> bare muscle body, you know? Which he loves. And metal. Bare metal. <laughs> bare metal, bare muscle. It's all the same to me. Hopefully... They they're going to stick to a few lines and expand on those instead of just kicking out a couple of main characters. Because there's a lot of main stuff, even though they've been talking about things like classic Street Fighter and whatnot. Yeah, for yeah, all yeah, time yeah. So that. and and whatever, we'll see that stuff tomorrow. This mm-hmm. is Toy Fair Day negative one. Yeah. that's what I'm going to name this video. Leak night, I guess. Leak night, leak day. <laughs> How about this? I was posting this on the bus at the airport in Kansas City because it popped up. From the up. parking lot. Yeah. From the parking lot, yeah. Mm-hmm. It is the Hasbro, oh, what's it called? Let's see. The Transformers Generations Collaborative Ghostbusters Mashup Ecto-1 Ectotron figure. I'm going to have a Transformer. I know. And, we would, <laughs> and what's funny is I was talking to him about getting sucked into Siege while we were at Walmart before this. He was trying to and, talk me into it. But and it and it was falling work. on deaf ears. What? <laughs> Transformers. <laughs> I'm on the cliff about to jump into the siege line. Mm-hmm. But man, you make a Ghostbusters Ecto-1 and make it transform into a car and it comes with Slimer. It, 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 it's a cool concept. It, it's cool with what it could represent because there are plenty of other cars out there um, that are either, you know, vintage, nostalgic pop culture, mm-hmm. even modern. I mean, with the DC license, 
opening up apparently are we going to see a batmobile transformer night rider delorean man don't I say mean, what night rider airwolf oh my god a team van oh <laughs> Man, we could go on all night about this. But the Ecto-1 is a good start. Mm -hmm. Not only does it look amazing in car form but with the kind of proton pack on top. It transforms into a dude with a pro well, a dude. It transforms into a, <laughs> a robot, robot dude. with a proton pack on his cool back. a very cool dude. Yeah, a very cool <laughs> robo dude. dude. Was there any information? It's going up for pre-sale on Hasbro. Well, okay. I was going to say Hasbro Toy Shop, which brings us into the next item. I think that's item, no more. Which is... Now Hasbro Pulse. Hasbro Pulse is not Hasbro just Pulse a was their me little media social media presence. Yeah, putting out pictures of mm -hmm, stuff. Mm -hmm. But now it's their retail site that also apparently is like a does club. reveals too. And, and, and it's as a club. club. Right now, if you order anything from the site, you get free shipping and you're enrolled in their premium program, which means free shipping for the rest of the year on top of perks. Right. Like I, I guesses is like first dibs at exclusives mm -hmm. from conventions. Com conventions. That to me is worth it alone. Yeah, and I think yakface.com was reporting that we were going to see a Black Series subscription service. Is that part of the premium on Hasbro Pulse? But all I, I know is is that you know it's it's even if you pre-order something right now before. Oh the yeah, 23rd, yeah. You pre-order. So. Are you pre? Any kind of order right now before next week? Is it the twenty third? Yeah, lock You're it down. In. Because next year it's going to be fifty dollars a year. So, it's well, even after just... the twenty third, it's fifty dollars. Oh yeah, if you wait till after so, the twenty third mm -hmm. and want in the premium club, it's fifty dollars for the year. So you might as well order. So something. I'm thinking I'm getting another kingpin set so I can do my shadow king. There, and surely so. there's something or order the Ecto yeah. one or not surely. <laughs> don't call. <laughs> don't quote movie at me. It's late. <laughs> I've been on it all day, all day, all day. No uh, more toy shop. I'm gonna it's keep calling. Pulse. I'm gonna keep calling Check it pulse. pulse. I'm gonna keep calling it toy Check shop. Check your pulse. It's the pulse. It's like putting a stop sign in a place that never had a stop sign, and you've been driving 20 years. You're gonna blow that stop sign. For so you're gonna be halfway through the intersection. Oh so yeah, and then, Hasbro oh. toy pulse. <laughs> <laughs> and then finally be at Hasbro pulse. And Hasbro, stop Hasbro pulse shop. And then they'll pull that stop sign. Watch, and then you're stopping at an intersection. Well, the ones with the white borders around them, it's optional to stop. <laughs> okay, Hasbro brings us to something neither of us care about, property-wise, and no that's nostalgia. We no. knew the we knew the Power Rangers Lightning Collection was coming, and we'd seen the White Ranger, but today some pictures leaked. And that of, makes sense. A, a couple of other figures from the series. I, 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 maybe the series is just these four characters, but it's hard know. to imagine that now that has or. Power Rangers is a Hasbro property, right? It's not just yeah, this is a yeah. license for them. It is a Hasbro property. Yeah, so they can do, I mean... so Whatever they want. And it looks like they're what they want is following the Legends formula. Right, right, right. The promotional pictures that leaked today is the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers White Ranger. Mm. It is the SPD Shadow Ranger, which I think is cool. I don't know why. I don't... I have no clue. I don't is know. I've never guy? seen it. I don't is know. He's got a hundred on him, though. Oh, okay. You have the Dino Charge Red Ranger, and then... Lord Zed just looks amazing. Even if you don't like Power Rangers, Lord Zed looks like he could fit onto your legend shelf or some He's kind a very of cool generic guy. villain it, character. I've seen a couple episodes back in the day, but I never got into it. At by that a, point, I was by working. A couple, and, he means all 10,000 10, of them. No, by that time, I was, I was, I didn't, well, I didn't have a TV at the time, actually. It was, so, how did you watch them then? Friends' houses and stuff. Mm, did they have TVs? Yeah, yeah. That explains it. We didn't have quite have shoes in Arkansas back then. <laughs> But we, we had, had we had, had, moving, we had friends with TVs. We though. had moving picture boxes only in only the the important people in town. Like I always say, interesting action figure has me interested in the line. I have to give it a shot. I, I, I've never Either given way. a second look to anything Power Rangers right, related. Right. So this, you're right, is making me say. Hmm. Especially if it's Legends compatible, and mm -hmm. apparently it is. And I like that they didn't go all super buff, muscly, their own style. There, it yeah. looks pretty. From I what think. I. From what I understand, so like accurate teenagers to the and spandex. Yeah, in spandex. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I've heard good things online so good from me. people that actually know the property. Yeah, but bread and butter is a little line called Marvel Legends, and I don't know who's leaking pictures from the Hasbro floor where they're setting Booth up. But place. It's not our fault. Nope. We're just looking at the pictures. Mm -hmm. They're popping they're up on there. there. I mean, they're once they're out there, they're I, on that Facebook site. Yeah. They're on the Tweetstagram, the everywhere. Insta Snap. Yep, <laughs> I, I, they're all over the place, mm -hmm. and we're just here to talk about them. First of all, though, 
it was it TFW 2005? I don't know. They posted pictures. <laughs> the picture that apparently came from Hasbro's inner workings or something. But it shows the Alex Ross Iron Man, mm-hmm. which the body looks good. Yes. The head, it looks very Alex Rossy. I thought, you know, there's potential here for all three of them to become like the default classic comic. Mm-hmm. And I think maybe we hit that with one, maybe two, depending on your color preferences. But Iron Man has poten- I mean, potential. I mean, it, he's just a head swap away from being exactly. classic and Iron if you, Man. And if you really dig the Alex Ross Iron Man look, then you're mm-hmm. getting something yeah, that yeah, I think yeah. is, is, is perfect for you. Mm-hmm. But um, I'm going to get this figure, but I'm going to be hoping that they reuse the body with a... And that also kind of applies to Captain America because really, the look, get the scales on the torso. Mm-hmm. Yes, get the classic looking mask. Yes, better head, better a head, a more Captain America esque head. Classic looking shield, mm-hmm. but it, the blue may be the a little bit dark little for being a classic. Subdued. But again, it's Alex Rossi. Again, we we'll probably see this in Iron Man vintage line it, later. If they repainted this cap with the blues the same as the vintage cap blue. Mm-hmm. I, the, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm good. Be down, mm-hmm. but that's after you buy this version, right? Well, because it's, it's cool. Yeah. yeah. I mean, that's just how toy companies mm-hmm. right, they got to make their money on right. the molds. And these are all dedicated molds. Yes. Just like the Thor. Who? Which, of all of them. Yeah. He's the one that's like, this is the Thor I've kind of been waiting on. He could use a cloth cape. Said no one ever. You son of a bitch. I'm willing to live with that title. <laughs> <laughs> but it does look good. He looks big. He looks bulky. He looks stern. You see a smile to his face. It, it, it's just, if you think about... All of the recent, and when I say recent, it's been Mm -hmm. like 10 years, incarnations of Thor, he's like huge. He's super armory and he's like, I'm going to like turn you into stone just by looking at you. This one's a a little little bit bit more, it's Ross, but (laughs) but Ross drew his, you know, main influence from Jack Kirby and those guys drawing Thor. So it's a little bit more, it's stern, you're right, but it's just a little bit more not like mean Thor. <laughs> it's it's classic Thor. Yeah. You know? Which is but it's a classic wondering. Thor, and that's what we want. This works both ways, even if it is rossed up a little bit. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. The the bigger wings, yep. the flowy cape. It's, it's uh, fun. Uh, and it, but if they do release it later on with a Masterson head or a bearded look or something, we're getting, it still works. We're getting on down the road for them. Yeah, we're no, doing I'm already, for them yeah, already. What the hell, Hasbro? Mm-hmm. Like they haven't thought of all of this already. But, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they, can pay, they can pay the maiden boy for that. <laughs> and then finally, I think my favorite leak from today would be the Wolverine and Hulk 2 pack. It's tied with be- mine. Because we needed another Wolverine. No, I'm kidding. I'll take any and all Wolverines we get. Even the first, first appearance, appearance tiger whisker mask. That's perfect. That's all. That. But Hulk? But before you wait, get to Hulk, oh, we go. Yes, <laughs> tiger mask. If that's not, if that's if, if you want to have first appearance Wolverine, mm-hmm. cool. If that's not the look for you though, he's got that lighter. Blue he does have a lighter blue on the costume, so that he could be a head swap away. I'm from sure the a, head would fit, but it, the only problem you run into there is yellow's matching, which is not. But it, but with it being on the top, shadow by black, shade, yeah, you know, yeah, it, yeah. it may be easier to fudge there. So so if 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 that previous Wolverine in the uh, last series, the mm-hmm. blue was a little too dark for mm-hmm. your taste this has really got answer. that more sky blue and before we get to hulk 2 looking at it in the box there's no blister there's no bubble so and we already see from another picture some additional so so maybe wolverine has an alternate head mm-hmm. maybe alternate hands without the claws something mm-hmm. so we don't know the accessories for this pack at least when the it comes point to is wolverine. i'll probably be buying two <laughs> yeah yeah i mean because good lord this hulk figure good gravy he's short he's stout He's power. He's power personified in plastic form. Powerful plastic personified. Perfect. Perfect. No, okay, it's not perfect. Okay, I mean, but I was just saying it's to you yesterday that if close. we get a Hulk, I want the gamma green. I want yes. the old school lighter green. I don't want another dark green Hulk. That's what we're getting. Yeah. We're getting a Hulk with butterfly shoulders. Yes. That's amazing. The fact that we're just now getting to a probable and likely replacement for me mm-hmm. on the shelf because the head sculpt is it, yeah. it, it yeah. evokes that classic yeah. hulk because we're also seeing a picture from the floor mm-hmm. and he has two open hands in that picture where in the carded picture he has a fist and an open hand so i'm hoping there's 
so surely there's two fists. But at the same time, it looks like he has bicep swivel and he has hinge and swivel at the elbow, which at first with, I'm like, what's with the extra swivels and stuff? But I realize a character that big, mm -hmm. that bulky, you gotta have extra swivels, like you want the pose of him holding his fist like that. Because the thing can't do that. He's gotta rotate here because the biceps would run into the torso. The, the, the new thing so, can't do that. Apparently he comes with a torn shirt too, given the what he looks like in the display. That's cool, I don't think I'd ever display mine with that just because. I don't know, but, it gives that Frigno kind of, kind of early Hulk. It's awesome. But and, that, and you know what? It's plastic. It's plastic. Is it plastic? Yeah, it's plastic. Hasbro. You're awesome. <laughs> no, it works because it's laying there. You yeah. know, it's not flowing out. It's not in the way. Yes. And you can pull it off and do it off. And I, it, the Hulk without it looks fine. Yes, yes. Speaking of, yes, yes. Speaking of, yes, one yes. last Marvel Legends, I almost forgot too. It's, I would not have let you. No, I know, because I, 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 I have that feeling. I, I have that gold bloom vibe from you. Mm, yes, yes. Apparently, and uh, Marvel Legends finds a way. <laughs> and that would be the Marvel Legends. Go ahead. Grandmaster. It's <laughs> a good thing you got there. I keep saying Shirley and I keep saying Games Master for one grand reason. Marine, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, Grandmaster, yes. Jeff Goldblum from Thor Ragnarok. Goldblum has come to We've my heard Marvel this is going to be a two pack with too. Korg, right? Yes. That's the That's rumor. Right. Not Doug. But, Hulk. <laughs> but a perfect two pack would have been Collector. And that would have been he, beautiful. <laughs> he's absolutely essential now because. Honestly, if I have Grandmaster and the Collector, they would suddenly become the the middle of my MC yeah yeah collection. that'd be awesome <laughs> yeah and then we need more what are they called art uh, da, 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 of the universe and there's Masters champion the <laughs> oh man <laughs> I'm gonna, that, this my more <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yes. elders of the universe mm -hmm. aha mm -hmm. aha my brain's working again mm -hmm. right lots of cool stuff and the show hasn't even started yet right. And that's what we're used to. We'll be sitting in the Hasbro presentation tomorrow, waiting for it to start, scrolling through Instagram pictures of all the stuff of all the we're, things that about. we're about to y'all, see. Y'all are going to see it first. That's how but, it has been happening. But we'll let you know about everything but that happens we'll tomorrow at the Hasbro person. booth tomorrow. Because <laughs> there's Star Wars stuff to show. Yes. We know that Triple Zero comes with Death Hands on in the package and mm -hmm, stuff. Mm -hmm. We've seen pictures from the floor of that. Yeah. But nothing new to reveal for Star Wars yet. Not yet. Except but the we... subsurface. Hopefully we'll see some stuff tomorrow. Yeah, we're in but the movie year again. did so. we see a report of a Wave 20 being found at retail? And by Wave 20, it's the Padme. Mace Padme battle. Battle, battle droid. droid. So. Yeah. <laughs> what we're going to do, we're going to get the finish this. We're gonna go to bed. We're gonna get up, take lots of pictures. Stay tuned on the Foosh front page tomorrow. It's a and big then, day. It's tomorrow. a huge day. Tomorrow's a huge we'll day. We'll look at NECA. We'll Mezco. look at Mezco. We'll look at, at Hasbro. Hasbro. We're gonna have oh. their whole big presentation oh. for three and, and or four hours. Other, we've got yeah. appointments yeah. like crazy tomorrow. And then we'll talk about the Hasbro thing tomorrow. Yeah, yeah. And then Sunday, we'll yeah. talk about other stuff. Yeah. Yeah. We'll be around. Mm -hmm. Whether it be the front page or it be right here on the Foosh tubes, we'll catch you on the Foosh. Catch you. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta catch off, whoosh. <laughs> Fushimon. <laughs> <laughs>